this is Spider Rock, and today I wanted to talk about the places that you can get add-ons. There are plenty of places on the internet where you can get add-ons and you can find good add-ons. And today I wanted to talk about my favorite place to get add-ons, the place that I use the most, but I don't think is the best or my favorite, as well as just general places you can get add-ons. And of course, I will put links in the description to all of the sites I visit. Anyway, the main place that I think is the best place to get add-ons if you want just good, high-quality add-ons, aside from, of course, looking through uh, my videos, you know, my add-on showcases, because I kind of... I like to, you know, pick through add-ons, finding good ones. Anyway, I recommend vatnage.com by IE Motionless. This is one of the best places to get add-ons. There's, I think, just under 100 add-ons on here currently, and all of them are made by decently well-known or, or trustworthy add-on creators who have high-quality add-ons that don't really contain stolen content or anything like that. For example, Vader's Expansion, a really great add-on here by Angry Vader. Uh, you've got Vein Miner. Tree Grower, a bunch of I Emotionless add-ons, um, other add-ons by other people, that Dirt Man. But these are all people that you can trust and that are going to continue making really high quality good add-ons. Like all of these are good. Even some of my add-ons are, are on here. I don't think Blasters is on here yet, but I think most other things are. But there are things, for example, one block here that is an add-on pack that has is like the one block map thing but it does contain some of my add-ons because there are a lot of packs on here that do contain my add-ons. That's perfectly cool with me. You know, you've got some stuff from Hog, like Hog's Weapons, which is pretty cool. Uh, more I Emotionless stuff. Uh, more, ex there's a lot of expansion things for some of uh, like basic machinery, advanced machinery. I did put structure expansion on here as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, insane craft, like there's just a lot here. And of course, most of these are I Emotionless's add-ons. Um, but there's some other things, for example, Mutant Creatures, very popular, very big add-on is on here. So there's a lot going on, and I think there are, yes, there are 12 pages. The 12th page is only a couple of add-ons, and while most of them are I Emotionless's, I do have some things on here. There are other things on here. And this is a really great place to look through and find add-ons if you want things that you want to like have guaranteed be high quality. I think this is probably one of the best places to go because it's not just these, there are constantly things being put up here by constantly, I mean probably a few times a month, but still, I Emotion this is constantly making high quality add-ons. Of course, if I make something, I'm gonna post it on here and there are plenty of other add-on creators who post their stuff on here as well, but it all kind of gets vetted, it's gotta be good. Um, and if you are an add-on creator, um, and you are in contact with iEmotionless, they may even allow you to post your own stuff on here. The main place though that at least I look for add-ons is MCPDL. The only downside with MCPDL is there's not very much quality control. So out of like every page of add-ons, there's usually only a handful of good ones, or sometimes you'll get a page of all good ones and a page of not so good ones. Um, because they only really regulate kind of, I mean, they do to some extent, like, yeah, you have to publish it, an add-on. It can't just be like, you can't just put, I don't know, a PNG as your download or whatever, right? It has to be a working add-on or a mostly working add-on. But a lot of these are just not good. I'm not seeing a lot of these on the screen right now are not good. This is a good add-on. This is a good add-on. I don't know about anything else here, but this looks like a decent add-on. Theoretically, this is a good add-on. Like there's lots of, this is theoretically a good add-on. Lots of good add-ons on here, but there are also lots of mediocre add-ons or low quality add-ons that end up on here. Lots of add-ons where it looks really cool and then you try it out and there's just like not much to it or it's very bugged out and it doesn't work well. Or you get things like carrot tools, which who knows, maybe this could be really good. But based on this picture and the fact that it's only got one share, I don't, I don't really know. This is probably the best way to find like random add-ons that you wouldn't expect because sometimes you can find really cool things. Oh, here's a good one. Not enough teleporters. I, I like that add-on a lot. You also do find a lot of add-ons here that do happen to contain... Oh, this is also a good add-on. Uh, add-ons that contain stolen content and things like that. Sometimes that can happen. Oh, here's damage indicator. Also a good add-on. But it does take a while to look through here to find things. And I will say this, this whole search and sort feature is just not very good. I think that and it just probably works better. Uh, for some reason, some of the text doesn't show up properly. I think that I need to update my drivers or something because it's been doing that with a couple of websites. Um, but yeah, uh, there are some cool things about Vatnage add-ons though. For example, th what made me want to make this video was uh, I, I saw this video posted on their YouTube channel uh, for their new Wikibook add-on. And I thought this was really cool. Uh, they said that I could help or, and like have a couple of items from some of my add-ons included with the Wikibook. Um, but like I said, there are big add-on packs. But what helps with some of these add-on packs is that a lot of add-ons made by iEmotionless work with Wikibook. There are currently 115 different items supported uh, and six different languages, meaning 690 pages of Wikibookness. 
I did want to go ahead and check this out and show it because I have a feeling at some point most of the add-ons on the Vantage website may be supported by Wikibook or something similar, but there are lots of things that seem to work together really well on that website and lots of packs of things that are on that website. So here I have a version of my showcase area with basic machinery and advanced machinery on, and I have this wiki book. The cool thing about this, it's a full custom UI, works with, you know, for me, my dark mode texture pack, a bunch of different languages you can choose from. Uh, I'm going for English, of course. You can like literally search here, so I could look up, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I well, I don't know how to spell, wait, I was gonna look for something and I don't know how to spell, okay, I'm gonna look for solar generator, for example. Solar, uh, if I look that up, you can see what comes up is solar generator, advanced solar, generator, and then solar panel. Uh, of course, I can sub get rid of my search there and you can look through and you can see all these things and it will tell you information about all of them, which is really cool. Of course, you don't need to see the recipes because you can see that in the crafting table or whatever, but this is just like for things that need some form of information about them. This is a really good way to find out information about them and it works with a lot of uh, Vantage iMotionless's add-ons, which is very cool. And in general, you will only find the uh, items here if you have that add-on on a world. So I uh, wouldn't see things for a different add-on. Like I don't think I have the create add-on. I think there's like one create item here, but for the most part, I don't, that's the only thing I see from that on this world. Everything else, like unless I put the create add-on on, wouldn't actually show up in, in the little uh, menu. So it's just things like this, like cool add-ons and cool collaborative things that uh, can show up on that website that make that to me, at least make Vatnage, in my opinion, the uh, best place to try and find um, add-ons if you just want cool good add-ons that work well minus my insanity because it sort of doesn't work in some ways and it hasn't been updated in a while and I just you know I'm, I'm, I'm stepping away from that for now as many of you know but there are lots of really good add-ons on here and so if you do just want in a pinch some add-ons to use to mess around with then this is probably going to be the best place um, to do that of course if you really want to look do a deep dive into some add-ons you can look at uh, add-ons on MCPDL. I don't recommend using mobile apps to get add-ons if you can avoid it. A lot of them do re-upload add-ons, monetize them, and basically steal people's content, which I don't know. That's, I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's okay. I just dropped, I, maybe I shouldn't be fidgeting with a handful of Legos while I'm recording. I don't know. So if I were you looking for add-ons, I would avoid maybe so, somewhat sketchy looking websites. I would avoid mobile apps and I would stick to probably Vatnage and MCPEDL. Vatnage, if you're in a pinch and you want some good stuff, because this is all going to be pretty much good stuff. And MCPDL, if you really want to do a deep dive and spend a lot of time looking for kind of exactly what you want. Anyway, thanks for watching if you made it here. I just kind of wanted to make a video talking about, you know, some of the best places to find add-ons. Because I do get asked sometimes, like, where do you get add-ons or where can I find more add-ons? And uh, aside from my channel, these would probably be my best suggestions. So thanks for watching if you made it here. Definitely check out Vatnage. There will be a link in the description as well as, you know, to that uh, Wikibook add-on. And, you know, there will be a link to MCPDL for those of you that don't go there. Uh, but I doubt there's very many of you who, who don't. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it here, see you later and good.